Hi, my 4B detectives. Happy Thursday. Hope you're having a good day. You know I am. Today we are going to be reading the second story in Lesson 16 of Journeys. This is a biography about Mae Jemison, who is a famous astronaut. She's also a woman, which is really exciting because this is Women's History Month. So we get to read about women on Pebble Go, just like I was doing for my Flipgrid for Friday. But we're also going to be reading about another famous woman here. So before we get started, let me just show you something really cool that I got. You can go on to NASA's website and have astronauts read stories to you, which is really cool since we're talking about the moon this week and we're reading about Mae Jemison and we already went to the moon. But if you go on to our page for the day on our class lit, our class post, you'll see that there's this really cool link called Max Goes to Mars, and it's an astronaut reading the book to you. So I'll show you the link real quick. After clicking on the link in our post, I found here it's story times from space. This one's Max Goes to Mars. There's, there's other stories if you click on these arrows, but I thought this one would be perfect since we're talking about going out into space. And if you click on it, it will read it to you and the astronaut will have the pictures, but you can see here that he's actually in the um, in the spaceship. So I think that's really exciting. Another cool link that you'll get to go to today is the Pebble Go link that actually has a page about Mae Jemison. So if you liked what you read in our journeys book or what we're going to read in our journeys book, then come here and see some more things about her life, the things she worked on and what she does now as she's older. But here she is, and that's really nice to see her in her you know, uniform. She even has the, the spacesuits helmet, which is nice. But we're going to go read about her now. Today, your work, your homework is to look at Max Goes to Mars, look at Mae Jemison's Pebble Go page, and of course, keep working on your long, uh, a long O packet. Stick, uh, stick it out to the end of this video and I'll show you the answers to the alphabetical order. All right, if you would be so kind as to get your journeys book out, you can go to page 40 or just go past the story we read. This is lesson 16 and it's about Mae Jemison. You can see here that it says biography. What we know from Pebble Go is that a biography is a short story or a nonfiction text that tells you about a person's life. And today we're going to be reading about Mae Jemison's life. And it's true about all the things she's gone through. Mae Jemison was born in Alabama. Mae knew she wanted to be a scientist when she grew up. May studied very hard in college and became a doctor, so she didn't become an astronaut right away. There's so many different steps to becoming an astronaut, so she became a doctor. She went to Africa because she wanted to help sick people there. There are a lot of sick people in Africa, so there's a lot of companies or people or doctors that go there with their you know, knowledge about medicine to help them. Ooh, I see a caption. Here is Mae Jemison on the space shuttle. I can't wait to find out about why she became an astronaut. Later, Mae became an astronaut. Perfect. She had to learn many things before she could go into space. Yeah, although we wish you couldn't just pop into space. There's so many tests you have to do. At last, Mae was ready to fly in the space shuttle. The astronauts had to bring equipment with them. So equipment is things you need to get a job done. So if you wanted to build something, your equipment would be nails and a hammer, right? So let's see what her equipment is. They had to carry food too. May could move around easily in space. She felt light as a feather. Oh, that's because there's no gravity pulling her down to make her walk on the ground like you and me. She's floating here just like how Elmo did during our field, trip, our field trip show. Here's all their equipment. So they have cameras, they have a lot of machines. 
They have a lot of, oh, they even have paper to keep track of things. There's a lot of buttons and knobs. And we know that equipment too would be their astronaut suits. Now May has her own company. She wants people to think about science. She tries to show people how science helps them every day. And although the Journeys book doesn't tell you, if you go to the Pebble Go, you can learn more about the things she's doing now and about her company and what she's teaching people. Look at this line here. This is called a time line. It's a line that has all very important dates about her time as maybe a person, though she's still alive, uh, her time as an astronaut. Oh, here she is, 1981. So we know in that year, she became a doctor. We know in 1987, she becomes an astronaut. And here May is, after being a doctor and an astronaut, she's starting her own company in 1993. Wow, that was 28 years ago, no, 27 years ago, sheesh weesh. So she's been very busy. You can read about May Jemison more on Pebble Go. If you want to take this time to go back and see if you can find any long O words or maybe even a word of the week. That was our book about Mae Jemison. I know I wish it was longer, but thankfully we have Pebble Go for that. Here was your long O work that you had to do. And I have for you the lists, I made lists of the answers for alphabetical order. If you wanted, you could have done the long O sound, but I asked you for the words of the week, which you could find in our journeys book. Here are the words of the week in alphabetical order. Around, because, before, bring, carry, light, show, and think. Go ahead and check your work from the other day and see if you got that. I'll leave it up here for a second while I read the other one. Now, here's all of our long O words in alphabetical order. Bone, go, hole, home, joke, no, poke, rope, so, and stove. Man, that was 10 words this time. You are so lucky that you don't have to do a spelling test with me. I hope you got those right. If you didn't, think about where on the alphabet line did you go wrong? You can see that I almost started writing the B words first because I didn't notice around was one of the words, but I went back and changed that. I also made a mistake because I missed go. And I had to rewrite this whole paper because I was at stove and I had go left. Ugh. I hope that you did better than me though. My friends, keep up the good work by reading your journeys, checking out Pebble Go with Mae Jemison, checking out Max Goes to Mars with the astronaut reader. Make sure you finish this for tomorrow. Tomorrow, I can't wait to see your flip grids, both about your famous woman and about your reading log for the week. If you don't have any books to read, definitely check out Epic. All you have to do is type in our class code, which I have attached in our post down below, and you can read all the books you want. They go by letter, they go by theme, they go by grade, it's perfect. But that's all for me today, friends. See you tomorrow.